Hello, hello, Magic English 8 here. Thank you for watching my video clips. Today I am with you with another unit of Yellow Interchange, unit 10 of this beautiful book. Excellent for your speaking, listening, vocabulary, and grammar. So I am going to unit 10. And as you see, the title is As you see, the title is, What Sports Do You Like? So, today we are going to talk about sports of different kinds, sports to play, sports to watch, and most of our talk today will be about sports. But what do I have here for you in the Word file? Unit 10 of Interchange Basic Intro what sports do you like? Main areas that I'm going to cover today are asking about free time activities, asking for and giving information about abilities and talents with the use of can. We will talk about it. And in the grammar part, I will teach you simple present WH questions. Can for ability, Yes, no, and WH questions with can. So that is our grammar part. And now, snapshot. Okay, so talking about sports, here we have four different countries. Okay, let's listen to the part. I will ask you some questions. Unit 10. What sports do you like? Page 64. Exercise 1. Snapshot. Listen and practice. Okay. Brazil. Sports quiz. Brazil's favorite sport is soccer. Their second favorite is... So, what do you guess? Everybody knows that Brazil's favorite sport is soccer or what we say football in Europe. Their second favorite sport is, what do you think? Tennis, volleyball, or swimming? Which one is it? Those who said volleyball, yes, they are right. So Brazil's favorite sport is soccer, but their second favorite. So how do you talk about favorite and second favorite? Like this, for example, my favorite Sorry. My favorite sport is soccer. I go exactly like the book. My second favorite is tennis, for instance. So you say my favorite sport is soccer. My second favorite is tennis. Or you could talk about food for example my favorite food is spaghetti spaghetti my second favorite is meat is steak about cars my favorite car is cadillac my second favorite is ford or whatever comes to your mind okay so brazil's favorite is soccer their second favorite is volleyball number two about mexico Mexico's favorite sport is soccer. Their second favorite sport is... Okay, so again the same for Mexico. Mexico's favorite sport is soccer. What do you guess about their second favorite? Their second favorite is baseball. Okay, very good, correct. Football, hockey, and baseball. So what is the difference between soccer and football? As this course is American English, in American English, soccer, let me show you in Google image. In American English, this is called soccer. But in Europe and British English, the same thing is called football. 
football. In America, this is called football. In America, this is called football. This is called soccer. So that is the difference. Okay. And now heading for Canada. Canada's favorite sport is ice hockey. Their second favorite sport is. Okay, great. So about Canada, what is their second favorite sport? Those saying basketball are correct. Exactly. Canada's second favorite sport is basketball. And the last one. South Korea's favorite sport is basketball. Their second favorite sport is. Very good. So in South Korea, second favorite sport is soccer. Now, if you looked at the answers upside down written here, you could also see them here as well. But it doesn't matter. We just wanted to have some ideas about sports in different countries. Now, any of these sports is new to you. Any of them you don't know, let me tell you. Tennis, volleyball, swimming, you know them all. Football, we talked about it. Hockey, you know what hockey is? This one is hockey. It could be ice hockey as well. And this one is baseball. Baseball, throwing the ball and catching it. And here we have uh, baseball, sorry, basketball. Ice skating, this one is ice skating, and this one is snowboarding. If you want to have a clear image of these, my suggestion, please type them in Google and then see Google image with them. For example, snowboarding, if you go for Google, snowboarding. This is snowboarding. Mm -hmm. Google image fixes the word in your mind better and uh, the last one bike riding you know hiking you know and soccer in europe it is called football but we say soccer because it's american english and hiking what is hiking this is hiking usually long walks in trails in uh, mountainous areas is called hiking don't confuse it with hockey okay so this was our talk here in snapshot about sports somehow we know about them but i got a question for you for talking about sports we have three verbs three verbs are used to talk about sports do you know them do you know them let me tell you we use play we use go and we use do for talking about sports. If you want to learn them easily, those that end in ing come with go. For example, go swimming, go walking, go running, go jogging, go bicycling, any other sports ending in ing. A list of some sports come with do. You need to memorize them. Do yoga, do gymnastics, do aerobics, do karate, do judo, taekwondo and all those contact sports, martial arts. There is an exception to ING verbs or ING sports coming with do. Here we have boxing, do boxing and do bodybuilding. They end in an ING but they come with a do. So if it is not go, if it is not do, it is play. Play soccer, play football, play basketball, volleyball, badminton, tennis, and some games like cards, chess, and the things like that. This is not the full list. There is a lot of other sports coming with play, a lot of other sports with go, and a lot of other sports with do. But if you have all of these things in your mind, that is enough for this level. Okay, the book is asking us a question. Do you like sports? What sports are popular in your country? So I am asking you this question. Do you like sports? Please pause the video and give your own answer. My answer to this part is this one. Do you like sports? 
Yes, I do. I enjoy playing and watching games. I like being active and spending time outdoors with friends. So, please just don't say, do you like sports? Yes. Or yes, I do. No. You need to expand your talk, support your talk. Yes, I do. I enjoy playing and watching games. I like being active and spending time outdoors with friends. The second question, what sports are popular in your country? Please pause the video and give your own answer. And what is my answer to this part? In my country, Egypt, I imagine that the answer is from Egypt. In my country, Egypt, football or soccer is widely popular. Also, Egyptians like basketball and volleyball very much. They play these games a lot. Okay, so this is an answer from Egypt. You could answer the same question based on the information you have about your own country. Okay, thank you very much. Part one, talking about sports in snapshot, finished. Now we are going to exercise two, conversation when do you play all these sports when do you play all these sports so a little i make it smaller for you please don't read the conversation i want you just to look at this person here i ask you some questions you please answer me uh, could you please tell me about this boy what's he like if you remember our question in unit three was What's he like? What's she like? So please answer this question. What's he like? Your answer should be, for example, he is young, handsome, and he's sporty. Sporty. And he has short hair. And uh, about his clothes also, I think he is tall. Based on this picture, I think he's tall. Okay, and what is he wearing? Very good. He's wearing dark blue sports clothes and he has a basketball in his hand. Okay, so that is enough for our speaking about this picture. Now, I have some questions for you before you listen. This is it. Just one question. What sports are they talking about? So in this conversation, they are talking about sports. Please listen. Just tell me what sports they are talking about. Okay? Listen, please. Page 64. Exercise 2. Conversation. When do you play all these sports? Listen and practice. So, Victor... What do you do in your free time? Well, I really like sports. Cool. What sports do you like? My favorite sports are basketball, soccer, and tennis. Wow. You're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play them very often. What do you mean? I just watch them on TV. Good for you. That's not too tiring. <laughs> so, they talked about three sports. What are they? Very good. Basketball, soccer, and tennis. So, as you are listening, you need to take notes down like what I did. I just wanted you to tell me what sports they talked about, these three sports. So, for the second time I play this for you, this time please look at the conversation and answer these three questions. Does Victor like sports? Yes or no? What sports does he like? Does he play? Does he ever play those sports? Yes or no? Okay? So, listen please. Listen and practice. So, Victor, what do you do in your free time? Well, I really like sports. Cool. What sports do you like? My favorite sports are basketball, 
soccer, and tennis. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play them very often. What do you mean? I just watch them on TV. <laughs> That's not too tiring. So this is what you say. He says, I don't play these sports. You say, That's not too tiring. That's not too tiring. So in uh, English, it means it's not that hard to just watch them on TV. And if you want to have some Persian translation, that's not too tiring. That's not too tiring. So does he like sports? Yes, he does. What sports does he like? Basketball, soccer, and tennis. Does he ever play all these sports? No. He just watches them on TV. Okay. A third time, we we'll listen to the conversation. And you please repeat this with me. Okay? And practice. So, Victor. So, Victor. Please repeat with me. What do you do in your free time? What do you do in your free time? Well, I really like sports. Well, I really like sports. Cool. Cool. What sports do you like? What sports do you like? My favorite sports are basketball, soccer, and tennis. My favorite sports are basketball, Soccer and tennis. Wow, you're a really good athlete. Wow, you're a really good athlete. Athlete. When do you play all these sports? When do you play all these sports? When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play them very often. Oh, I don't play them very often. What do you mean? What do you mean? I just watch them on TV. I just watch them on TV. Okay, very good. Now you know what the conversation is about. I want to tell you about some of the vocabulary and some pronunciation points here. Let's talk about it. So it says, so Victor, what do you do in your free time? In your free time. So you know, free time and synonym for that is... Spare time. Free time or spare time. Free time, spare time. Well, so it is well. Don't say well. It is what, what, well. If you want to pronounce this. You should say very well. The first one is a labiodental, v. The second one is a round. You should say w. So you want to pronounce it correctly. You say very well, very well, very well. Okay. And here he says well, well. I really like sports. I really like sports, nothing. Cool means perfect, interesting. Wow, great. What sports do you like? What sports do you like? My favorite sports are basketball, soccer, and tennis. Wow, you're a really good athlete. Athlete. Athlete is a sportsman or a sportswoman. Athlete. Mm hmm. Sports person, somebody who plays sports is called athlete. Athlete. If you have a hard time pronouncing athlete, please try, practice with me, and repeat. Little by little, you can do that. Athlete. When do you play all these sports? So, this is a very beautiful sentence. I write it for you. When do you play all these sports? We don't say when do you play all these sports. It's not like that. When you play all these sports, somehow you're not pronouncing it fully. You say 
all these sports because these and sports are mixed together and you say when do you play all these sports when do you play all these sports okay be careful pronunciation is important not just for your speaking but more important than that for your listening because when they say all these sports if you don't understand it then you will miss the listening part when do you play all these sports oh I don't play them very often what do you mean I just watch them on TV TV with the stress on the TV I just watch them on TV and for TV we say on not in on I just watch them on TV I'm writing it for you here So stress of TV is on the second syllable and uh, the preposition for that is on. Good. And the last time I want you to make questions for me out of these sentences. I really like sports. Yes, no question, please. Good. Do you like sports? Do you really like sports? Yes, I really like sports. Which sports do you like? My favorite sports are basketball, soccer, and tennis. Please ask me a question with favorite sports. What are your favorite sports? Very good. What are your favorite sports? My favorite sports are basketball, soccer, and tennis. What are your favorite sports? You're a really good athlete. Yes, no question, please. Good. Are you a really good athlete when you play all these sports? I don't play them very often. I don't play them. Uh, yes, no question, please. Ignore don't. For example, the sentence is, I play them very often. Yes, no question. Good. Do you play them very often? Yes, I do. No, I don't. What do you mean? I just watch them on TV. Yes, no question, please. Do you watch them on TV? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Okay, so we covered the conversation five times and now you fully understood the conversation, the vocabulary, the pronunciation and the grammar in it. Here they are talking about free time. I got a question for you here. What do you like to do in your free time? Please pause the video and give your own answer good my answer to the part in my free time i play games watch tv and read books i also like to draw and go to the park sometimes i visit friends and play with my pet so this is a simple answer that everyone can give just maybe you don't know how to expand your talk, how to develop your talk. You need to talk about different areas. Here the person is talking about games and TV books. Also talking about outdoor activities like parks. And also talking about people and things. Friends and pets. Okay? This was a sample response for free time activities. Conversation exercise 2 finished. I hope you don't have any problem with it. Let's move. Exercise 3 grammar focus and I say probably one of the most important pieces of grammar that we have in this book or maybe everywhere because WH questions in simple present, WH questions in present continuous, WH questions in past in future in all of them we have these so please pay attention and learn this grammar very well okay wh questions if i want to start with the basics i say at the level of our book by wh questions we mean what who where how often when and what time for our level, WH questions are these. Some sample WH questions could be What colors does she like? Who is your best friend? Where do you live? 
Even you can pause the video and answer these questions for your speaking. How often do you play games? When do you go to school? What time do you have dinner? So, sample WH questions for our level and with simple present is this part. How do we make questions? If we have am, is, or the to be verbs, was, were, or maybe some models like can, could, and these things, we put them in the beginning, you know. So, if the sentence is, you are smart, are you smart? She is pretty, is she pretty? They are young, are they young? We can study well, can you study well? We could play tennis in the past. Could you play? So, if you have am, is, or, was, where, and some models like can, could, will, would, and these things, you just put them in the beginning and the question is done. But for all other verbs like go, play, watch, study, eat, drink, drive, paint, any verb that comes to your mind which is not a to be or a model, so you use do or does in present tense. Do and does plus subject, he, she, you, we, they, and the verb. Your teacher does smile a lot. So I want you to put these in order or unscramble them. What do you say? Good. Does in the beginning. Subject, your teacher, and then verb. Does your teacher smile a lot? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. And now the WH question. When you form the yes no question, you will put a WH word in the beginning. How? WH, do does, like here. Do does, subject, and then verb. So, if you want to form a WH question, first make a yes no question and then put the WH in the beginning. Cards do play they when. Your question should be, do they play cards? And then, when in the beginning. So, final question is, when do they play cards? When do they play cards? So, I hope you got it, how to make yes no and WH questions so far. Here, we say, please don't look at this part. Please just look at this part. I play soccer in basketball. What is your yes no question? Do you play soccer and basketball? And then for soccer and basketball, what what sports do you play? So you see here it says what sports do you play? Look at this part, the second one. I play with some friends from work. So it is people. It means who. First, make a yes no question. I play with some friends. Do you play with some friends from work? Yes, I do. And then, who in the beginning? Who do you play with? For asking about an object, you need who and with. Who do you play basketball with? I play with some friends. This one, yes, no question, please. We play at the gym. Where, sorry, do you play at a gym near the office? Yes, we do. And then where, where do you play? Where do you play? Number four, yes, no question. We practice twice a week. Do you practice twice a week? Yes, we do. And then for twice a week, once a week, three times a week, how often? How often do you practice? How often do you practice? Good. Look at this part. We practice on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Yes, no? Do you practice on Tuesdays and Thursdays? And then when? When do you practice? We start at 6 in the morning, in the evening. Do you start at 6 in the evening? What time do you start? So, when usually talks about a bigger scale. A day. 
a month, a year. But what time talks about more specific time in the evening, at three o'clock, at night, at noon, at 12 o'clock. Okay, so you understood how to make WH questions first form a yes no with do and does, then put the WH in the beginning. Very good. Part A complete the conversations with the correct WH words. So the answer says about once or twice. How often do you go bike riding? Once or twice a week. The answer said, uh, I love to go bike riding. I go every Sunday, really, usually at about 10. What time do you go or when do you go? Either will be okay at about 10 in the morning. Oh, yeah. A group of friends. Who? Who do you go with? A group of friends. Come with us next time. I watch sports on TV every weekend. Really? So it is number two. That one finished. Really? Soccer is my favorite. What sports do you like to watch? What sports do you like to watch? Soccer is my favorite. In the evening on weekends. So when, when do you usually watch soccer? In the evening or on weekends? Because it says on weekends, what time is not a good answer. What is not a good question. And at home. Where do you usually watch it? At home. No. At my brother's house. Uh, sorry. Where do you usually watch it? At home? No. At my brother's house. He has a home theater. Okay? Not difficult. And now here we got answers. You need to provide questions to them. I like a lot of sports. What sports do you like? I usually play with my sister and some friends. So, who with? Good. Who do you usually play with? I play with my sister. We practice on Saturdays. When? When do you practice? We start at about noon. Good. What time? What time do you start? We usually play at a sports club, so it's a place. Where? Where do you usually play? But sometimes we play on the beach. On the beach, we say, on the beach. Okay, so I told you about simple present WH questions. We talked about them all. Part A we did. Part B we did. And here for part C, I have something better for you, which is extra examples. I have written some answers with some words underlined. You just make a question for the underlined word. Good. My best friend is Nargis. So it must be who. Good. Who is who is your best friend? My best friend is Nargis. I usually practice with I usually practice with Mrs. Johnson. The question? Good. Who do you usually practice with? Who with? With Mrs. Johnson. Small town, so it's a place. Question? Good. Where do you live? I live in a small town. Number four. Place. Where does your grandma work? My grandma works at a hospital. Very good. Number five, once a week. I told you once a week, twice a week, three times a week. All of these are with how often. So your question is, how often do you play video games? I play video games once a week. My brother goes to the park every weekend. Every weekend means once a week. So again, it is. How often does your brother go to the park? Maybe you say, when does your brother go to the park? That also makes sense. That also makes sense. Number seven says, after I get up. So it is about a time. When? Sorry. 
When do you eat breakfast? I eat breakfast after I get up. My father goes swimming on Sundays. So it is again when. When does your father go swimming? Good. Before I turn the question on and before I turn it black, please pause the video and give the answer. My favorite TV show starts at 6, so it is about time. What time? Good. What time does your favorite TV show start? It starts at 6 p.m. And this one says, I go to bed at 9. So, what time again? And go to bed. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 9 p.m. Okay, you got it? I hope through this practice you have learned simple present WH questions. But in case you have any other question or worries, please leave a comment on my page and below this video. Okay? <clears throat> Thank you very much. I hope you're not tired by now, are you? Good. Exercise 4 and listening. What do you think of sports? What do you think of sports? If I were you, I would pause the video now and speak about this picture. So, what do you see in the picture? Who? Where? What are they doing? How are they feeling? What are they wearing? Mm -hmm. So, pause the video and speak like this. I can see some boys running after a ball. They are playing football. The American version, I mean. These boys are very happy and all of them seem to be really happy, uh, laughing. Uh, one of them has the ball and is running and the others are following him or chasing him. And uh, all of them are wearing sports clothes, t-shirts and shorts. They are playing probably in a park or on the football field, something like this. You see, your speaking is a matter of everyday practice. So, in each of these sit, uh, situations that I give you, please speak. Okay? Let's go to the listening part. Four people are talking about their favorite sports. Please write down their favorite sports and whether they play or they watch. Okay? Two times I play this part for you. First time, just write the sport and if they watch or if they play. Page 60. Simple present. W. Page 66. Exercise 4. Listen to the con. 1. Number 1. Hey, James. What do you think of soccer? I like it. Actually, I like lots of sports. Oh, yeah? What sports do you like? Let's see. I like tennis and bike riding and especially football. It's my favorite. Football's my favorite too. So when do you play it? In the fall and winter. Okay, so football and he plays it, yeah? If you want to give a summary, please pause the video here and say, for example, something like this. Uh, the boy is talking about his sports that he likes. He likes different sports, but his favorite is football. He plays it in fall and winter. Okay, number two. Two. What sports do you like, Brianna? You know, I don't like sports very much. So you never play sports? No, I don't. Oh, wait. I do like tennis. Oh, really? When do you play tennis? About once a week. I play with a friend at my gym. Okay. Her favorite sports, tennis, and she plays it once a week with her friend at the gym. Number three, Matthew. Three. Do you play volleyball, Matthew? Uh, no. I think it's a little boring. I see. Do you like any sports? Oh, sure. My favorite sport is baseball. 
I love baseball. Now that's an exciting sport. How often do you play? Well, I don't really play. I'm too busy, but I watch it on TV a lot. So, Matthew? Yes, his favorite sport is baseball. And does he play it? No, he's too busy and very busy and he just watches it on TV. And Nicole? Four. Do you like tennis, Nicole? It's okay, but it's not my favorite. What's your favorite sport? Hmm, I guess my favorite sport is basketball. Really? Where do you play basketball? Oh, I don't play basketball, but a lot of my friends do, and I like to watch them play. Okay, and what about Nicole? Good. Her favorite sport is basketball. She doesn't play it. Her friends do, and she just watches them play. Okay, good. Not a difficult part. But let's listen to it again, and in case it has any special word, I tell what you What do you about think it. of soccer? One. Hey, James. What do you think of soccer? So, it could be a useful question. What do you think of... What do you think of... She says soccer, but you can put anything else. What do you think of... What do you think of <clears throat> cranberry cake? What do you think of pizza? What do you think of Mercedes Benz? What do you think of Vancouver? All of these mean what's your idea about. What do you think of soccer? I like it. Actually, I like lots of sports. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah? What sports do you like? Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see. So, the time that you want to think about something, you say, let's see. I like tennis and bike riding and especially football. Especially football. So, especially means this is my best. This is my top. This is my favorite. It's my favorite. Football's my favorite too. So, when do you play it? In the fall and winter. Fall and winter. Two. And you know that fall means autumn. In American English, we say fall. In British English, they say autumn. What sports do you like, Brianna? You know, I don't like sports very much. So you never play sports? No, I don't. Oh, wait. I do like tennis. I do like tennis. Why does she say I, her sentence should be I like tennis? But why does she say I do like tennis? I do like tennis. It means I like it very much. For emphasis, I like it very much. I do like tennis. Oh, really? When do you play tennis? About once a week. I play with a friend at my gym. So once a week, I play with, with a friend at my gym. So it's not just do here. It could be does, for example, for he or she. She does like tennis. And in writing, you need to italicize it, make it italic. Yeah. She does like tennis, means she likes it very much. Three. Do you play volleyball, Matthew? Uh, no. I think it's a little boring. It's a little boring. What is the opposite of boring? Interesting. I see. Do you like any sports? Oh, sure. My favorite sport is baseball. I love baseball. Mm -hmm. Now that's an exciting sport. That's an exciting sport. That's an exciting 
sport. That's an exciting sport. Listen to it again. Ball. I love baseball. Now that's an exciting sport. Now that's an exciting sport. How often do you play? Well, I don't really play. I'm too busy. But I... I'm too busy. I'm too busy. Too before an adjective means very much that I cannot. So too means very much that I cannot. For example, this coffee is too hot. It means it is very hot that I cannot drink. Yeah, too hot, too busy. I watch it on TV a lot. I watch it on TV. Four. Do you like tennis, Nicole? It's okay. It's okay. So, okay means neither bad nor good. Mm -hmm. So, after okay, something becomes good. Then something becomes very good. Then something becomes great. Then something becomes, for example, perfect, excellent, super, or whatever. And here, okay. Before that, maybe not bad. Before that, bad, very bad, awful. So not a bad idea to write them all. Not bad, bad. Here you say, for example, awful. Awful. Maybe you can say terrible. Yeah? All of these words. So something is okay means... In between, not bad, bad, awful, terrible, and here good, very good, great, perfect, excellent. But it's not my favorite. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite sport? Hmm, I guess my favorite sport is basketball. Really? Where do you play basketball? Oh, I don't play basketball. But a lot of my friends do. So, I don't play basketball, but a lot of my friends do. A lot of my friends play basketball. And I like to watch them play. I like to watch them play. Okay? So, this was the listening part. Now, my suggestion. Please pause the video and speak about your favorite sport. What's your favorite sport? Do you play it or do you watch it? For example, you say, my favorite sport is basketball. I really like it and I play it once or twice a week with some of my friends at the gym near our home. Or you say, my favorite sport is soccer. I do like to play it, but I don't have the time for it. I'm too busy. So I just watch it on TV. Mm -hmm. So this could be a sample response for you if you play, if you watch some sports. Okay, good. Exercise 5, free time activities. So speaking here, we got and these questions. One, two, three, four, five. I have typed them before. Here for you. And I have brought some answers for them. But I want and I encourage you to first pause the video, answer for yourself, and then see my answer. Now, the first one says, what sports do you like to watch or play? Please pause the video and give your own answer. And my answer to this part is, I like to watch soccer. It's fun. I also play basketball with friends. Sports make me happy and healthy. So if you want to analyze this answer, the question says watch or play. The answer, I like to watch soccer and then one sentence after that to develop it, to expand it, to make it bigger. And then talking about sports to watch uh, sorry, sports to play. I play basketball with friends 
and a conclusion sports make me happy and healthy so this is how you give your answer and how you expand your talk number two what do you do on the weekends please pause the video and answer my answer on weekends I play games and visit friends sometimes I watch movies or go to the park weekends are fun a conclusion of what I talked before so play games visit friends uh, watch movies go to the park how can you expand your talk please think about what where when who how how often the, the questions that we worked on in the grammar part this guy says i play games and uh, visit friends so it is what it is who i watch movies again what and this is where i go to the park and a conclusion for that okay so based on that grammar wh questions you can expand your talk you can develop your talk what do you like to do when the weather is nice your answer and my answer when the weather is nice i play outside when it's nice it means the weather when it's nice i ride my bike play with friends and enjoy the sunshine nice weather is perfect for outdoor fun okay and number four what do you like to do when it's raining please pause the video and give your own answer this is the hundredth time i am repeating it please my answer when it rains i stay indoors i read books draw or play board games rainy days are cozy and good for quiet activities so what did this answer give you it says when it rains so you should think about indoor things stay indoors box draw board games all of these are the things you can do indoors rainy days are cozy this is means they are warm and has some they have some nice feelings to be together good for quiet activities so reading books drawing board games all of them are quiet if you compare them for example with basketball soccer or and number five how often do you play video games how often do you play video games your answer and this is my answer i sometimes play video games how often sometimes maybe twice a week it's fun but i also like doing other things for example like playing outside or reading books like means for example means such as so did you see how to expand your answers when you're speaking that's how you expand your answers with the use of those wh words okay thank you very much and now exercise six conversation what can i do so for a second i encourage you not to look at the conversation just look at the photo here okay please tell me how many people do you see in the picture good so you can say i see two a girl and a boy both of them are young where are they good they seem to be they seem to be they seem to be it means i think they are in a classroom maybe for example a music class and uh, what are they wearing the answer the boy is wearing a shirt and jeans 
The girl is wearing a sweater and jeans. Okay, and the boy is playing the piano. Okay, so this is all we can talk about this picture. Now, please don't look at the conversation. I am playing this for you. Becky is the girl. Dylan is the boy. Becky is the girl. Dylan is the boy. What can the girl do? What can the boy do? Okay, just I want you to answer these two questions by first time listening. Page 66. Exercise 6. Conversation. What can I do? Listen and practice. Look, there's a talent show audition on Friday. Let's enter. Oh, I can't enter a talent show. What can I do? You can sing very well. Really? Thanks. I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano, so... So maybe we can enter the contest. Of course we can. Let's do it. Okay. We can practice tomorrow. Very good. Very good. So what can Becky do? Good. She can sing very well. And what can Dylan do? He can play the piano. Very good. It was not a very difficult conversation, yeah? So, let's listen to it one more time for the sake of some practice. Page 66. Two. Look. Listen and practice. Look. So, this time please repeat with me. Look. Look. There's a talent show audition on Friday. There's a talent show audition on Friday. Audition. So, I will talk about the meaning of these words. Let's enter. Let's enter. Oh, I can't enter a talent show. Oh, I can't enter a talent show. What can I do? What can I do? You can sing very well. You can sing very well. Really? Thanks. Really? Thanks. I can't sing at all. I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano, so... But I can play the piano, so... Oh. So maybe we can enter the contest. So maybe we can enter the contest. Of course we can. Of course we can. Let's do it. Uh, Let's do it. Okay. We can practice tomorrow. Okay. We can practice tomorrow. Okay, with the stress on the second syllable I told you, we can practice tomorrow. So now, let me tell you about some of the words in this conversation. It says, look, there is talent, cunt, uh, there is a talent show. Talent, you know what a talent is? Talent is something that is given to you from birth. So you can do something really well. You say... I have talent in this. For example, a talent show has people who can sing very well. They can perform something very well. They can do something very well. This is talent. So it is an ability that you have. Audition. What is audition? Audition is a performance. Audition is a performance. Or it is, for example, I can sing. I go and sing in front of some judges. And they tell me, you are good. You're not good. So, audition. It is a test performance. In case you don't understand the meaning in English, it's better you go and look it up in a dictionary that has your own language. So, on Friday, for the days of the week, we bring on and it starts with an uppercase, capital letter, on Friday. Let's, it's not enter, as, as lots of people say, enter. It is enter. Let's enter. Let's enter. So, there's a 
an audition on Friday, let's enter. I can't enter a talent show. What can I do? You can sing very well. You can sing very well. Really? Thanks. Nothing. I can't sing at all. I can't sing at all. So, at all, at all, at all. But in British English, they might pronounce it a little differently. They say, at all. I, I can't sing at all. I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano. So, for musical instruments, we bring the. I can play the violin. I can play the guitar. I can play the harmonica. I can play this, that. I can play the and the musical instrument, okay? <clears throat> I can play the piano. So, maybe we can enter the contest. The contest. The means this contest we are talking about here. Here says a talent show audition. Here says the contest. It means that contest we talked about, okay? Previously. Of course we can. Let's do it. Okay. We can practice tomorrow, okay? Nothing? Just one more time. I read it for the sake of grammar practice. Please ask me some questions. There's a talent show audition on Friday. Please ask me a yes-no question. Good. Is there a talent show audition on Friday? And when? When is there a talent show? Or when is the talent show? It's on Friday. I can't enter a talent show. What can I do? You can sing really, you can sing very well. You can sing very well. So, question, yes, no. Can you sing very well? Can you sing very well? Okay, and then who can sing very well, for example. I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. Yes, no question. I can play the piano. Can you play the piano? And then what? What can you play? What can you play? So maybe we can enter the contest. Yes, of course, let's do it. Uh, we can practice tomorrow. Yes, no. Can we practice tomorrow? And when? When can we practice? We can practice tomorrow, okay? So, as you might have guessed, the following exercise, the grammar focus, is about can. Exercise 7 can for ability okay here you see i think this grammar is not difficult so just take a look we bring can before our main verb what do i mean by main verb i mean verbs that are not to be am um, is are or they are not a modal verb like can could will would should and these things okay so i can sing very well or I can't sing at all you he she no difference for all of them can and can't are the same and the verb after them is base form no s no ing nothing I can sing I can't sing she can sing she can't sing they can sing they can't sing for all of them can and the verb no change so for making a question put can in the beginning can you sing can i sing can he sing can she sing and all of them and then yes you can no you can't and then if you have a wh put it in the beginning can i sing what can i do who can sing and nothing else Sometimes something is so simple you don't know how to talk about it. So here I have something written down for you. Subject, I, you, he, we, she, whatever, can and verb. She can dance. They cannot type fast or they can't type fast. Let me go with the contracted form. They can't type fast. Okay, now for question, bring the can in the beginning. Can she dance? Can they type fast? And then put what, where, when, whatever in the beginning. What can subject do? What can she do? What can they do? 
and then for who, who can and verb. Who can dance? Who can type fast? Who can read in Spanish? Who can speak in Persian? And everything like that. Who can cook traditional food? Okay. And uh, this part. Six people talking about the things they can and they cannot do. Okay. So here, if you look at the pictures, you can understand if it is can or can't. Number one, I can swim. Even if you bring Ben, again, no change. Ben can swim. Sarah, I can fix cars. Or Sarah can fix cars, no change. Diane, I think can't. I can't sing. I can't sing. Or Diane can't sing. What about Jeff? I skate. I can ice skate. Can't, I mean. I can ice skate. Jeff can't ice skate. Lisa. I think it is can. I can play the piano. Or Lisa can play the piano. And Megan, what do you think? Can't. I can't cook. Megan can't cook. Okay? Now I'm asking you this question. Can you swim? You can pause the video and say, yes, I can swim. And I usually do it once or twice a week. There is a pool near our house. Can you fix cars? Pause the video and answer. No, I cannot fix cars because it's a bit too technical for me. But I really like to learn it. Can you sing? Pause the video and an answer. I cannot sing very well, but I really like to take a course on that. In fact, in the summer, I'm going to take a course on singing. Can you ice skate? Pause and say. No, I can't ice skate very well because it doesn't snow very much where I live. So, I don't have experience doing that. Can you play the piano? Pause the video and say. No, I cannot play the piano very well, but instead I can play the violin professionally. I'm really good at it. Mm -hmm. And can you cook? Yes, sure I can. I have cooked. Let me not use present perfect because we haven't talked about it. Can you cook? Sure I can. In fact, I usually cook for myself and sometimes I go to a restaurant for the weekends, for example. Okay, I asked you about these and you answered me, but as extra grammar practice, please ask a question with can, with WH and about the underlined word. So it is in the park, it should be where. I can play soccer in the park, where. Good. Where can you play soccer? I can play soccer in the park. I can have ice cream after dinner. So, it is about time. When or what time? Sorry, when. When can you have ice cream? I can have ice cream after dinner. My teacher can help me with my homework. So, probably... Not probably, surely. Who? Who can help you with your homework? Help someone with something. Help someone with something. So please have it in your mind. And number four, I can watch cartoons three times a week. Three times a week means how often? How often can you watch cartoons? So you see, just make a yes no question. I can watch cartoons three times. And then put how often. How often can you watch cartoons? I can draw. So it's a very basic and raw question. What, what can you do? I can draw. Number six. I can go swimming at the pool. So where? Where can... Do I have it? No. Where can you go swimming? At the pool. Number seven, I can ride my bike in the afternoon. 
So it is about what time or when. When can you ride your bike in the afternoon? And this one, my sister. My sister can play the piano. So it is about who. Who can play the piano? Very good. I can visit the library once a week. So it is a matter of how often. How often can you visit the library? Very good. And I can eat cereal for breakfast. I can eat cereal for breakfast. What? What can you eat for breakfast? Okay, you got it. So overall, experience is telling me that students usually have an easy time when it comes to can and can't. In case you have a problem, please leave a comment for me, okay? So, an important topic here is the pronunciation of can and can't. The first one, can, doesn't carry any stress. But the second one does. How? We pronounce it, I can play the piano. I can play. So, you see, can and play are mixed together. I can play the piano. I can't sing at all. I can't sing at all. Here, it is not mixed with the following word. But this one, yes. I can play. I can play the piano. I can't sing at all. Okay? Now, how do you... If we want to listen to that... Page 67. Page 67, exercise 8, Partition mm -hmm. of can and can't. See? I can play the piano. I can play the piano. I can't sing at all. I can't sing at all. I can't sing at all. So, here, please read these parts. Number one, I can cook. I can't cook. I can cook. I can't cook. Number two, please you read before I do. I can drive. I can't drive. Three, you read. I can swim. I can't swim. And four, you read. I can dance. I can't dance. Okay, you got it? It's going to be useful when you have listening. So, in the listening, it can be problematic. In speaking, you can get by. Exercise 9 and listening. You are good. Are you good at sports? Are you good at sports? Who among these three people? Joshua, J, Monica, M, and Anthony, A. Who can do these things well? Okay, I play that. You just write... J, M, and A. Number one. Sorry, I went too far. Page 68. Exercise 9. Listening. Are you good at sports? Listen to three people talk about their abilities. Write Anthony. Good at sports. They can do well. Are you? you good at sports, Joshua? No, not really, but I like to swim. I can swim very well. I often go swimming on the weekends. And I can play the piano well. But I can't sing. So, Joshua talked about two of the pictures that he can do. What are they? Good. Swimming? And playing the piano. He can swim and he can play the piano. I will play the part again for you later. What do you do on weekends, Monica? I love to cook for my friends and family. I can cook well. And I love to take photos with my new camera. I think I can do that really well, too. Good. So, what about Monica? She can cook very well and she can take good pictures with her new camera. That's a beautiful picture, Anthony. Oh, thank you very much. I'm a designer, so I can draw really well. I often do my work on a laptop 
so I can use computers really well too. Oh, I can paint too, but I don't paint for my job. It's just something I do for fun. So he talked about three things, Anthony. Number one, he can draw picture one. He can use computers very well. Six, and he can paint for fun. Okay, so just singing, uh, no one can do that. I think Joshua said he cannot do that. So one more time, I play this part for you. Maybe it has some Jenny words. on the things they can do well. Are you good at sports, Joshua? Are you good at sports? So we say, be good at something. Are you good at sports, Joshua? You say, I am good at soccer or the same sentence but with a verb ing i'm good at playing soccer so b b means m is r be good at a noun or be good at verb ing i'm good at soccer i'm good at playing soccer I'm good at English. I'm good at speaking in English. Anything? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, not really. But I like to swim. I can swim very well. I can swim very well. My suggestion? Pause the parts and repeat with them. I often go swimming on the weekends. And I can play the piano well. I can play the piano very well, really well. But I can't sing. What do you do on weekends, Monica? I love to cook for my friends and family. I can cook well. I can cook well. And I love to take photos with my new camera. Take photos. So, with take, we have a lot of words coming as collocation. We say take photos. Take the bus, take the train, take the subway, take a taxi or cab, take a trip, take a vacation, and take thousands of other things, okay? You need to memorize no other way okay i think i can do that really well too mm -hmm. i can do that really well that's too. a beautiful picture anthony mm -hmm. oh thank you very much i'm a designer so i can draw really well so i can draw really well i often do my work on a laptop i do my work on a laptop so I can use computers really well too. Oh, I can paint too, but I don't paint for my job. It's just something I do for fun. So I don't paint for my job. It's something I do for fun. Okay, as extra speaking practice, you can listen to this part again and then pause the video and say what these people can do. For example, don't say I, I, don't repeat. Say, Joshua can do this, Joshua can do that. Because of his job, her job, they can do this one, that one. Mm -hmm. That's how you can expand your speaking more and more. Okay. <clears throat> I hope you're good with exercise 9. And now here we are with exercise 10. Talents and abilities. Here again with a list of words and things we have these phrases and words and we have this chart for you about talents and abilities you need to put all of these words in four categories of musical or artistic technical athletic which is related to sports and if it's not any of these it goes into other so, for the sake of pronunciation, please read these 
once after that I will read I just want you to make sure you know them well or not pause the video and read them please I read bake cookies build a robot design a website do math in your head edit a video fix a computer make electronic music play chess ride a horse run a marathon marathon skateboard take good photos and tell good jokes okay did it have any new words for you i hope it didn't but in case for example uh, bake means make means cook but you put it in the oven bake build a robot design a website do math do math in your head edit you know fix make electronic play chess ride a horse run a marathon i hope it's not a difficult word for you but marathon is a long run so these long running races for example they are i know the biggest one is 42 kilometers but yeah these long running races are called marathon can you can you run a marathon skateboard you know tell good uh, take good photos and tell good jokes okay so let's put them in the table bake cookies it goes under other because it's not technical it's not artistic it's not athletic build a robot robots are technical so goes here design a website the same do math in your head do math in your head i put it in other it's not technical or athletic or musical uh, edit a video it's technical fix a computer technical make electronic music artistic and music musical play chess depends on your viewpoint it could be athletic it could be other ride a horse athletic run a marathon surely athletic skateboard of course athletic take good pictures or photos mm, artistic i say and tell good jokes other okay so that's how we put uh, them in this table but right now you what can you do what music musical or artistic abilities do you have please pause the video and give an answer a sample answer to that could be for example i am a musical person i can play three different uh, instruments i can play the piano i can play the keyboard and also i can play the harmonica okay so this is an answer for musical or for artistic you can say yes i am an artistic person because i can paint very well i took some classes on that or some courses on that and now i can paint really professionally about technical you can give the same answer athletic are you athletic yes can you do anything in, under the category of athletic yes i can i can play for example chess i usually do it with my brother but because he's older than me and he's more professional he usually wins about athletic and here can you tell good jokes no i cannot i cannot unfortunately i cannot but i have an another brother he usually tells good jokes he can do it very well so this is how you speak about this part anything else no okay and uh, finally exercise 12 the reading 
So if you want to kind of understand what this reading is about, taking a look at the pictures, I don't know if you have any idea. Oh, see, base jumping. This is a dog skateboarding. So things are a little weird here. And that's why the title reads Awesome Sports Records. Awesome Sports Records. So these are sports records and they are wonderful. They are unbelievable. They are awesome. They are perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's listen to it and luckily I have it typed here for you. Yes, awesome sports records, base jumping. Page 69. Exercise 12. Reading. Awesome sports records. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so, let's go for it. So, please listen. Base jumping is a dangerous sport. People jump off buildings, bridges, and other high places. The Burj Khalifa Tower in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, is 824 meters, 2,717 feet tall. That's a very scary jump. But Fred Fugin and Vince Reffitt of France can jump it. They also enjoy skydiving and parachuting. Okay, so two brave boys from France who can do base jumping. Firstly, what is base jumping, which she says is a dangerous sport? If we go here, base jumping, base jumping. Jumping off a cliff, jumping off a base of a tall building, that is called base jumping. Okay, and as you see, these guys, they go and jump off a building. In this case, Burj Khalifa in Dubai. So, base jumping is a dangerous sport. If you want to make a yes-no question, you say, is base jumping a dangerous sport? Good. People jump off buildings, jump off a building bridges and other high places. So this is the meaning of base jump. Burj Khalifa in uh, Burj Khalifa Tower in Dubai, United Arab Emirates is 824 meters or 2717 feet tall. That's a very scary jump. That's a very scary jump. Scary, frightening. So you fear but Fred Fugin and uh, Vince Reffert, uh, or maybe it's pronounced differently, of uh, France can jump it. They also enjoy skydiving and parachuting. Enjoy, verb ing. After enjoy, verb ing. Enjoy skydiving. Enjoy parachuting. Okay. Do you know what? skydiving and parachuting are so let's see what they are skydiving this is jumping off your airplane or any other airplane not yours and uh, yeah this is skydiving and then parachuting This is parachuting, yeah? Okay. Anyway, even if you do skydiving, you need to go with your parachute. This is called shoot. Shoot. C-H-U-T-E. End of that. C-H-U-T-E. Shoot. So, parachuting. Okay. That was about base jumping. Now, number two. Unicycle. Do you know what a unicycle is? It's a bicycle with just one wheel. 
David Weichenberger of Austria has the world record for longest jump on a unicycle. He can jump 2.95 meters, about 10 feet. Okay, so unicycle. What is unicycle? It says it's a bicycle with just one wheel. So if I want to tell you about it, I say we got the word cycle or the tire and then we have uni. Uni means one. Uni cycle. So it's got one cycle, one tire. Bi means two. Bi. It's got two parts. Bi and cycle. But we don't pronounce it bicycle. Bicycle. So here, bicycle means two. Tri means three. And then cycle. So tricycle. It means three tires or three cycles. Unicycle. Bicycle, tricycle, unicycle, bicycle, tricycle. Okay, you got it. And uh, anything? No. Uh, oh, I was reading it. Uh, it's a bicycle with just one wheel. This man from Austria has the world record for longest jump on a unicycle. He can jump 2.95 or 2.95 meters, about 10 feet with a unicycle. Okay. In case you want to see what a unicycle is, it is a unicycle like this. It's a unicycle. Okay. At circus, usually you find it. And now this one, the Indian dance. Kalamandalam Hemalatha of India <laughs> difficult name has an amazing marathon record but it's not for running she can dance and dance and dance so she's got a marathon record marathon means doing something for a long time she has a marathon record not just for run not for running it's for dancing in fact Kalamandalam can dance for 123 hours and 15 minutes. How can she do that? 123 hours. It means how many days? Four days or what? Five days. That's the longest dance marathon on record. Kalamandalam's special dance is from India. It's called the Mohinayatam dance. Okay, in case you cannot pronounce these difficult words, it doesn't matter because they are specific words of special languages and uh, because they don't have meaning in English for us, it doesn't matter if you do not pronounce them. That's not a point. So, uh, this woman from India, she has an amazing marathon record, but not for running, for dancing, dancing, dancing. And she can dance 123 hours and 15 minutes. That's the longest dance marathon on record. So on record means which is recorded. Which is recorded. Maybe someone can dance longer than this. But if it's not recorded. So this special dance is from India. It is called this one. Okay. And auto. Do you know about Otto? Otto likes surfing, skateboarding, and playing soccer. Otto is a champion skateboarder, but he's a dog from Lima, Peru. Otto has the record for skateboarding through the legs of 30 people. Interesting. <laughs> Otto, this dog in the picture, this dog, <clears throat> he does skateboarding. Do you know about Otto? Otto likes surfing, skateboarding, and playing soccer. Otto is a champion. So a champion is the best athlete, the successful one, the one who wins. Otto is a champion, is a winner, skateboarder, but he's a dog from Lima, Peru, South America. 
Otto has the record for skateboarding through the legs of 30 people. So it means 30 people are standing with their legs wide open. And then Otto goes under their legs with his skateboarding. Okay. And this one. Can you squash an apple? Can you squash it using just the muscles in your arms? One woman can. Her name is Lindsay Lindbergh. Lindsay is from Texas in the U.S. In one minute, she can squash 10 apples. That's one apple every six seconds. Wow, wow, wow. This is difficult. So, uh, squash means squeeze, squeeze. Can you squash... Uh, can you squash apples? Uh, she can. She can squash apples using her arms only. So if we want to see a picture of that, we write her name and then go squash apples. Okay, so she can squash apples. That's what you see. see. She can squash apples. Oh, she's doing some other things as well. But here for us. And if you go to YouTube, you can watch probably some of her videos. Yeah, squashing apples. So she can squash apples using the muscles. You know what muscles are? Muscles. The meat on your bones is called the muscle. Uh, she's from Texas, the USA. In one minute, she can squash 10 apples. That's one apple every six seconds. Okay, I hope you got it. And I hope there is no difficult word in the reading for you. Now, uh, just finished. Yes. Okay, part A with some questions A or B. It's not difficult. Please answer that. And uh, part C, two questions. Do you think it's fun to set world records? Why or why not? Because these are some world records they have set. So we say set a world record. The question is here. Do you think it's fun to set world records? Why yes, why no? So please pause the video and give your own answer. My answer, yes. Setting world records is fun. It's exciting to achieve something special and be the best at something. So when you set a record, you are the champion of that and you are the best. It makes people proud and happy. Yes, achieve something, get something, achieve something, get something. So this was about do you like to set well, do you think it's fun to set world records? Yes, it's fun. Uh, achieve something. That was a beautiful word. And then proud. Proud. People are mm, proud of you. It makes them. Um, the, there's, there's another question. What other world records do you know? So pause the video and talk about a world record that you know. In case you want to watch mine, Usain Bolt holds the world record for the fastest 100 meter sprint. In 2009, he ran the distance, the distance, this distance means 100 meters, in just 9.58 seconds. Imagine running faster than anyone ever. Bolt's record is truly remarkable, wonderful, special, amazing. Okay, so maybe there is just one word here for you. Sprint. Sprint is the fast running. Sprint. It's the fast run. And this is using Bolt. You can see him here. So sprint is the fast running and here if you go to Longman Dictionary it gives you 
to run very fast okay sprint so that's all unit 10 talking about sports i hope you have enjoyed this unit but it's not a bad idea to go back in see what we talked about today here in the book and before i go next session our talk will be about unit 11 and talking about future plans um, i'm gonna have a party but today what did we talk about in the book we talked about sports here sports in different countries the conversation and about free time the beautiful grammar about simple present wh questions i told you about what who where how often when and what time i told you first change the sentence into a yes no and then put the wh word in the beginning here we took care of these exercises in the listening part we listened the speaking we answered all these questions the conversation the second one about the talent contest uh, he can play the piano she can sing very well in the grammar part we talked about can making questions with them making negative uh, sentences with them what can you do here we talked about pronunciation of can and can't i told you that the first one doesn't carry any stress we say i can play the piano but this one has stress i can't sing at all in the second listening we listen to these three people talking about the things they can do exercise 10 word power talents and abilities in different areas artistic musical technical athletic and other we talked about it and the reading which was about special records awesome sports records with different words that it had for us and what about the word file what did we talk about in the word file my favorite sports is this my second favorite is that my second favorite maybe this is beautiful for you transfer it into your vocabulary notebook my second favorite sports verbs i told you that play go and do our sports verbs you need to memorize what sports go with do the sports ending in ing go with go and the rest of the sports go with play as this extra speaking we had a lot of <coughs> speaking here not a lot of we had two speaking questions here in the conversation we talked about these uh, the guy and uh, the time that he said i don't play these sports i said that's not too tiring this is beautiful for you free time spare time we talked about it the pronunciation of this word was important for us athlete on tv on tv again speaking grammar focus and uh, wh questions in simple present i told you about these some examples the formulae first a yes no question and then add the wh extra examples that i provided here for you listening part what do you think of when you want to ask someone about their idea we said fall and autumn are the same do for the emphasis i do like tennis she does like tennis okay we are uh, too i'm too busy very busy and hear about these adjectives in the speaking part we have these five questions with their answers that we talked about in the conversation again we talked about can pronunciation of this word is enter not inter we said that for musical instruments we bring the before them i can play the musical instrument grammar focus talking about can not that difficult extra grammar practice we had here 
pronunciation about the I can play the piano, I can't play the piano. Listening, be good at something. Be good at something or be good at the verb ing. Take collocations I told you about. Word power we talked about. And in the reading, awesome sports records. Base jumping. I said after enjoy verb ing. Unicycle. Bicycle. Tricycle. This marathon dance. On record. The skateboarding dog, we talked about him. And uh, the squash, I told you it means squeeze. And then here talking about word records, if you like, and a sample of that. Okay. Final comment. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson today. So please, as you're watching these videos, Please pause the video and answer my questions. This way your speaking will also improve. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson today. In case you liked it, please share it with your friends so they also enjoy it. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please kindly subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. I hope you have a very brilliant and beautiful day ahead of yourself. Take good care and bye.